Apollonia was an ancient Greek city in Illyria, located on the right bank of the Aous River. Its ruins are situated in the Fir region, near the village of Poyani, in modern-day Albania. Apollonia was founded in 588 BCE by Greek colonists from Corfu and Corinth on a site initially occupied by Illyrian tribes and was perhaps the most important of the several classical towns known as Apollonia. Apollonia flourished in the Roman period and was home to a renowned school of philosophy, but began to decline in the 3rd century AD when its harbour started silting up as a result of an earthquake. It was abandoned by the end of late antiquity. History the site of Apollonia lay on the territory of the Taulantii, a cluster of Illyrian tribes that remained closely involved with the settlement for centuries and lived alongside the Greek colonists. The city was said to have originally been named Jalakia after its founder, Jalax, but the name was later changed to honor the god Apollo. It is mentioned by Strabo in his Geographica as an exceedingly well-governed city. Aristotle considered Apollonia an important example of an oligarchic system, as the descendants of the Greek colonists controlled the city and prevailed over a large serf population of mostly Illyrian origin. The city grew rich on the slave trade and local agriculture, as well as its large harbour, said to have been able to hold a hundred ships at a time. The city also benefited from the local supply of asphalt which was a valuable commodity in ancient times, for example for caulking ships. The remains of a late 6th century temple, located just outside the city, were reported in 2006. It is only the fifth known stone temple found in present-day Albania. Apollonia, like Dirachi and further north, was an important port on the Illyrian coast as the most convenient link between Brundisium and northern Greece, and is one of the western starting points of the Via Egnatia leading east to Thessaloniki and Byzantium and Thrace. It had its own mint, stamping coins showing a cow suckling her calf on the obverse and a double stellate pattern on the reverse, which have been found as far away as the basin of the Danube. The city was for a time included among the dominions of Pyrrhus of Epirus. In 229 BC, it came under the control of the Roman Republic, to which it was firmly loyal. It was rewarded in 168 BC with booty seized from Gentius, the defeated king of Illyria. In 148 BC, Apollonia became part of the Roman province of Macedonia, specifically of Epirus Nova. In the Roman civil war between Pompey and Julius Caesar, it supported the latter, but fell to Marcus Iunius Brutus in 48 BC. The later Roman Emperor Augustus studied in Apollonia in 44 BC under the tutelage of Athenodorus of Tarsus. It was there that he received news of Caesar's murder. Apollonia flourished under Roman rule and was noted by Cicero in his Philippics as Magna Urbs A Gravis, a great and important city. Christianity was established in the city at an early stage, and bishops from Apollonia were present during the First Council of Ephesus and the Council of Chalcedon. Its decline, however, began in the 3rd century AD, when an earthquake changed the path of the Aoos causing the harbour to silt up and the inland area to become a malaria-ridden swamp. The city became increasingly uninhabitable as the inland swamp expanded, and the nearby settlement of Avlona became dominant. By the end of antiquity, the city was largely depopulated, hosting only a small Christian community. This community built on a nearby hill the church of the Dormition of the Theotokos, part of the Ardenica Monastery discovery and excavation results. The city seems to have sunk with the rise of Laura. It was rediscovered by European classicists in the 18th century, though it was not until the Austrian occupation of 1916-1918 to that the site was investigated by archaeologists. Their work was continued by a French team between 1924 to 1938. Parts of the site were damaged during the Second World War. After the war, an Albanian team undertook further work from 1948 onwards, although much of the site remains unexcavated to this day. 
Some of the team's archaeological discoveries are on display within the monastery, known as the Museum of Apollonia and other artifacts from Apollonia in the capital Tirana. Unfortunately, during the anarchy that followed the collapse of the communist regime in 1990, the archaeological collection was plundered and the museum was temporarily closed. The ruins were also frequently dug up by plunderers for relics to be sold to collectors abroad. In December 2011, a new museum opened, under the directorship of Marin Hakimi Hali. It replaced an older museum dating from 1985, and was funded by UNESCO's MDGF joint program, Culture and Heritage for Social and Economic Development. In August 2010, a French-Albanian team of archaeologists unearthed a bust of a Roman soldier, 50 years after the discoveries of other full-body statues in the 1958-1960 period expeditions, led by Albanian scholar Salim Aslami and Russian professor Blavatsky. A German-Albanian team has been working on the Hellenistic theatre at Albania, throwing light on the development of Greek theatres and also local variants Episcopal C. One of the participants in the Council of Ephesus in 431 was a Felix who signed once as Bishop of Apollonia and Bilis, at another time as Bishop of Apollonia. Some assume that the two towns formed a single episcopal see, others suppose he was, strictly speaking, bishop only of Apollonia, but was temporarily in charge also of Bilis during a vacancy of that see. One of the participants at a council held in Constantinople in 448 signed as Paulus Episcopus Apollonia Dal, Apollonia Tarim, Civitatus Sancti Ecclesia, but it is uncertain whether he was associated with this Apollonia. At the Council of Chalcedon in 451, Eusebius subscribed simply as Bishop of Apollonia. In the letter of the bishops of Epirus Nova to the Byzantine Emperor Leo I in 458, Philochorus subscribes as Bishop of what the manuscripts call Validus, and which editors think should be corrected to Bilis. Whether Philochorus is to be considered bishop also of Apollonia depends on the interpretation of the position of Felix in 431. The Annuario Pontifico lists Apollonia as a titular see, thus recognizing that it was once a residential diocese, a suffragan of the archbishopric of Dirachium. It grants no such recognition to Bilis. Gallery